Hi, this is Shannon with Chic and Sassy Nails by Shannon. I am going to do my first Pride Manny of the month of June 2023. I have not, um, I just took off my, my Under the Sea Manny because I really liked it a lot. And I've been a little sick, so I haven't had the energy to uh, redo my nails. So I'm just getting around to this, but I'm super excited to use the new Over the Rainbow set. Um, and I'm adding in, it into a mixed mani because I am all about mixed manis and I am, took out one of my unicorn sets, one of the sets that I love so, so much. This is my last set of it um, that I got from one of my special VIPs and hold on, I almost just stuck that on the wrong side. That would have been sad. Um, and this is one in four. Um, sorry, it's a little warm. It's a little soft. Maybe this is on too high. Let me adjust my mat a little bit. So sorry, I'm going to try to get this. It's curling up. It's a little warm. Let me see here. I am just having trouble lining it up. It got kind of stretched out but I think it should be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, so this is one in four. This is a retired foundation set, and I just love this color. It's like a more warm purple, I guess, is a good way to describe it. Maybe it has a little bit more magenta in it than some of our other purples we have. But I just love this. Oh shoot, I just made a like gouge in it with this rubber cuticle pusher. This is very soft, so maybe my strips are getting too warm. This is just an extra soft set. So I will be able to push, um, I kind of pushed it back down, but I made a little gouge in it. And when I put, I think I'll have to use the, uh, when I use the OPI, um, plumping top coat that will kind of smooth everything out so I don't have to worry about feeling like a little bump in there. I'm just trying to clean up the edges. This is a very gummy set for it being so old. Again, I could have just had my warming mat up a little high for this. But, all right. Yeah, anyway, I just love the set. Okay, so I'm doing, the, I'm going to do the two dark colors. Oh, yes, these are warm. And let's see if I can do this without messing up. Look how gummy it is. It's sticking to the, it's stretching and sticking. It's a very gummy set. It's always interesting to use. They do, um, they do go on nice. It's if you can keep them in shape enough to, so that's why I gotta be careful with this other side. Be a little gentle with the sticky set. You gotta be careful not to do the same thing I did on that other side where I put a little gouge in it. I'm just going to try to push that little piece that was kind of hanging off the edge that stuck to the paper. I'm just going to kind of mush that in and I'm going to clean up that little corner. I don't know where that went. And then let's try this other. Let's see if I can separate there. It's a little gummy. All right. So I decided to embrace the lavender. So over the moon has, not over the moon, over the rainbow, ha, over the moon's a different set. Over the rainbow has a um, dual chrome shifting like white to lavender base. It's kind of very shimmery. Um, and I decided to pair that up with two different purples. So I'm using one in four 
Again, it's the retired um, awareness set. Um, and I'm using Glamsterdam, which is retired as well, which is this light lavender glitter. So let's do, I'm going all out of order. And, oh, I have a puppy scratching at the door <laughs> to get in here. This is going to be a quick, it should be a fairly quick mixed Manny. Everything is sticking to the packaging here. I'm going to do this nail. Is this big enough? Sure. So this is that really light lavender glitter. And I don't even know if I've worn this before. I couldn't find a partial. So I don't know if I wore it and I just haven't, um, I didn't have any extras or I've used them all or I, I don't actually remember wearing this one. So maybe I never wore it. It's so pretty with this micro glitter. Um, see if I can save enough of this. All right. And then I'm going to do the accents. Two of the nails with the rainbow and all purples. So I have not figured out what set I'm actually going to wear to pride or what I'm going to do. The last year Pride Manny took me like two hours. It's a crazy long video. Um, but I really liked how it turned out. So I don't know if I'm going to do something fancy or that fancy. Probably not because I have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I've been a little dealing with some medical stuff for the last two weeks. or so. Well, it started Memorial Day weekend. I just woke up with a really bad, like, like tight muscles in my shoulders and up into my neck. And that has led to some, I was getting headaches and, um, I just, it was just getting worse and worse pain. So I could, had like limited range of motion in my neck and my arms. And I went and saw a chiropractor and he fixed like the left side with just basically seeing him once. Um, he does a lot of, the guy I see is a sports medicine chiropractor. He works mainly like soft, well, the stuff he does for me is mainly like soft tissue work. And he does something called dry needling, which I don't know if you've heard of or not, but it's, um, it's I always describe it like kind of like acupuncture, but painful because the purpose is they stick, a, it's like a bigger needle um, and it's not a smooth needle like an acupuncture needle is. With acupuncture, you don't feel the needles going in or the ideas that you don't feel. Dry needling is the, they irritate the muscle by sticking a needle in it. And then the muscle like cramps up, kind of spasms. And then um, it's supposed to then help it loosen up and relax in, when that needle is out, I guess. It's kind of the, that's my understanding of it. I don't know. If that's exactly, that's not like medical <laughs> term or anything. Um, but that is um, my understanding of it. So, and it usually works for me. And then um, I usually have to, I have, I get this kind of neck, shoulder issue, upper back issue. Um, I sleep really wonky, like not, not recommended way to sleep. And so this has happened before. And it could be disc issues as well, but the x-ray looked pretty good. I did have an x-ray done on Wednesday. It didn't look like any signs of degeneration on my disc, so that's good. Um, but so anyway, so I saw him the day after Memorial Day and then um, it worked like it felt, felt better on the left side, but then the right side got worse. So I saw him again on Friday and it just didn't get better over the weekend and i saw somebody then this week 
um, I saw him again and I saw the doctor and they gave me some like stronger anti-inflammatories so, so I stopped taking like ibuprofen all the time and because that was giving me some stomach issues or I have real unrelated stomach issues I have no idea what's going on so it's been kind of a week but they also gave me muscle relaxers which I took once during the day just to get some relief but then it's like I'm super not productive because I get really tired and then so I've been trying to take it at night so I sleep better instead and then I've been like trying to alternate heat and ice and I got lidocaine patches to try for the first time so um, I have been kind of nursing this shoulder neck this is gonna be gonna go in the garbage um, issue and some tummy issues so I have not been as productive as I had hoped I just finished catching up with loyalty cards and sending out links for prize forms and now I'm going to sit and hopefully get prizes pulled and packaged up this weekend to mail um, so but I know we're getting an email in just a few minutes here for oh we probably got it now because I'm doing this but the um, images and assets for launch on Monday so if you haven't I don't know where I'm, when I'm going to post this actually, but <laughs> Monday the 12th of June is when the anniversary nail collection, those uh, new, what are they called, glitter dips, they're like the old glitter dips that had color, they're not clear glitter dips like we've been doing lately. Um, and I believe Eunice told us that those are harder to make for some reason. Oh, I like the big rainbow on my thumb. I wasn't sure which one to pick, but I went with that and I'm happy with it. So I'm doing just a simple mixed mani with the two glitters, two different shades of purple glitters, and then the over the rainbow accents. So the dark purple again is one in four and uh, the light purple is Glamsterdam, both of which are retired. Um, I'm going to have to cut off those little, that little piece. Oh, what did I do? Well, that's silly. I got a bump in it. I got like a little crease in that nail. Let's see if I can smooth it out or not. Right there. Oh yeah, that's smoothed out. It's like there's like little bubbles under here. All right, I'm gonna clean up the edges here. So I am just hoping another couple visits to the chiropractor in combination with the muscle relaxer and some exercise he gave me, which I forgot to do this morning. That reminds me. I'm so bad at, like, I've tried physical therapy for my lower back before, and I'm just so bad at, like, following up and doing the exercises at home like you're supposed to, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I need to, I need to prioritize getting back in shape and my health again because my blood pressure has been super high lately too and um, I know it's because I've gained all this weight because I stopped exercising and I just haven't gotten back into it we're not making the best decisions with food always um, that's always an ongoing ongoing struggle but uh, I really need to get back and kind of don't know um I know having high blood pressure isn't a good thing so all right all right my thumbs it's hard to see the shift to the lavender in this set um it looks really white in the video yeah let me see if I can block the 
like the sun coming through my window is making it really um, light colored. Here, hold on, let's do like this. In the shade here, oh, that doesn't really work either. It still looks really lavender or really white. Does this one look better? Uh, I don't think you can see it. All right. Well, take care. You guys have a great day or night. Bye-bye.